Hey everybody, it's Crackers. Welcome back to House Flipper. We're back here at our stilt house. Yes, yeah, stilt house. I've just been staring at it, trying to decide what to do. Um, I think for starters, we've got to maybe get rid of these trees. We can always add them back in after. Um, that one maybe I'll leave for now, see if it gets in the way. Um, I'm trying to decide, like I think we need to change the color of this house too because that white door really stands out. Either that we got to change the door, but I kind of like the white door. So I'm thinking, I don't know why these pink cans are down here, guys. They are, they more, like they were up on the deck. They just kind of teleported down here. So I think maybe what I'll do is I'll get rid of this. And I'm kind of thinking, can we paint? I just want to see if we can paint this thing. So this we're stuck with. <laughs> but I think we can paint these. Yeah. But we can't get rid of those. No. Okay. So we got to get rid of all that. I, I'm trying to decide what to do. I'm kind of thinking like an... Hmm. So this stuff here we're stuck with. But this will be opened up. Okay, okay. I think what we're gonna do is to start with, we're gonna get rid of all of this stuff because we're not gonna use it. This is, I think all stuff we can buy now, right? Can we buy all these tools? Okay, yeah, no, we can buy. We can buy a saw, a screwdriver. I think most of this stuff, ax, I think for the most part. Okay, yeah, we're just, it's the vice. Do we, can we buy a vice? No, we can't find, buy a vice. Crowbar we can even buy. I think I'm just going to get rid of all this stuff. Okay. I kept a couple things. I don't know why. Anyway, I hope you guys are all doing really good. I'm excited to be back here in the stilt house to get going on the yard and then we're going to be done this and then we can move on to the next house and see it and I'm excited about that. But for starters, um, let's actually bust all of this out. Oh, there's still something I gotta get rid of. So, yeah, let me give me a second here to bust out what we can. All right, that was the last choppity chop or smashity smash, I guess. Um, all right, so now we have this nice big open area. Let's just go back to our little hand tool. The only thing I'm not liking is this is not symmetrical. Like we have a little doorway and a big doorway and two little doorways. So, hmm. So we can, I guess, paint most of this. Uh, let's just buy some paint. I just want to see. I feel like I'm committing here to this paint color. Um, if I paint one, because I'm never going to get this wood back again. But I'm kind of feeling like, uh, I'll just buy one for now. Um, do we want to paint all this or do we want to leave it wood? I kind of feel like I want to paint it. Let's just paint like the back side of this, just in case we don't like it. Hmm. I think it should be fine. It'd be nice and white. And then we can paint the upper part. Gosh, I hope I hope that'll be okay. Uh, let's go upstairs for a second here. I think we could paint the upstairs like an orangey color. And that'll kind of go with the whole like we have to paint. We have to paint because of this door, right? Or we could use like a um, I think that might look kind of nice. What color was this? I have no idea. I think it's different than anything we used inside, but I like it. can reach up there. Hope you can. Usually, yeah, okay. Usually I can jump and get that little part. Yeah, I kind of like this color. 
So I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to paint the outside of this. It'll kind of look like a terracotta, like, you know, I don't know. Like a clay. I don't, I don't know what it's going to look like, but anyway, I like it. So I think we're going to paint the whole thing this color. And then well, we're going to have to now. I like the white door against it already. And it kind of goes nicely with the floor. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So if we were to do this whole... Oh, and the roof is kind of an orangey color too. So if we did this whole thing, this color... Uh, I just want to see what it looks like underneath the shutters. Okay, okay, yeah, I can see that. I think that'll be nice. Okay, so obviously we can't paint that. So we want to have some white down here. Yeah, I think if we reverse it, have the dark color up top, white on, on the bottom here, and I'm assuming, like I said, we can't paint there, so... Okay, but we can paint all this. Where is that? It kind of feels like it's going up higher than it should. Like once we have that orange, there'll be a distinction between the two. But I think we can paint, I hope we can paint the outsides of all this, right? I do wish we could get rid of some of these, but I'm just, you know, trying to be grateful for being able to remove the entire thing, so. Okay, okay. Let's just do a couple more pieces here and then I'll go ahead and do the whole thing. I just want to make sure this is going to look okay. So is that what we want to do? Yeah, I think it'll be fine because then like these little pillars are all white. I mean, we don't want to go into any kind of a stone or anything. Mm, could we do like a tile? I don't know, that might be kind of weird. Look at this porcelain tile. Hmm. I think I'm just going to paint it the white and see how that looks. The porcelain tile is kind of fun, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to go. I don't want to know. I don't know if I want to commit to that at this point. So we will, I'll just kind of keep on painting. We'll lighten this up and see what it looks like. I'm going to paint the upstairs, the orange, and see, see how that looks all done up. And then I'll bring you guys back. Okay, guys, I think this is the last little strip. All right, yes, I think this will look nice. I think, I think I'm going to stick with the white. Um, I'll just get rid of these. I think we've got it all, but get rid of the tile idea. Yeah, I think that should be good. So there's the top all done up in the orange. It looks really nice with the white door. And then we got the white down here to kind of, you know, kind of go with it. So, you know what I realized that I'm hearing like seagulls and I'm not sure if that's in the normal game or not or if it's just special for out here because we're seaside but I was hearing some seagulls anyway just just thought I kind of mentioned that all right so we have the start of something and now what we need to do is sell these things and we got to decide what we're going to do down here. So because there's such a big front yard, and I know that we're kind of seaside, but I think we definitely need a pool. So I think we're going to have a pool somewhere out here. And I mean, we'll probably just maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll put a gazebo up over here. I'll probably change these things. These are the tools I ended up keeping. I don't know why. I just can't seem to part with them yet. I might still do that, but. Um, and then I think for in here, I thought we could divide it a little bit, like have, it would be nice to sort of have a, like to have kind of an outdoor like bathroom sort of area like you know so that you can change like a little pool change room kind of a deal so I wanted to do something like that out here but then have like kind of a covered area for like maybe a, like a cozy little outdoor 
um, couch, uh, maybe even a fireplace out here. I think that would be kind of nice. The only thing I'm looking at here, which might be a problem, is... Um, will this be big enough? We could have a little sauna area. It's just the only thing that sucks is that we're going to have to, yeah, have walls on this side or windows or something. Um, oh, we could have a bar area. That would be kind of nice. Like, I'm just not sure that this will be big enough for, like, a sauna. Um... So I want to fit like kind of a little change room plus a little laundry area. You know, you could throw your bathing suits in there. And then, like I said, it would be nice to sort of have a little sauna area. Okay, let me think about this because, I mean, we can bring the wall out and then have... I think, I think we could have just a small little sauna. And like I said, this part can be sort of a change area and a little laundry facility kind of a deal. Um, I just don't know how to close off these, these little windows and stuff. Okay, I obviously have to think about this for a second here because, yeah, I don't know how to set this up. I just want to have like an outdoor kind of relaxing space. There's actually quite a bit of space under here. It'd be almost nice to have like a little guest room too, you know, for people. So we could borrow even more. Like we could bring the wall out maybe to here. And then we could have maybe a little guest suite in here. And then combine this whole area into like a change room, laundry facility. We could have maybe even the sauna back there. Hmm. And then we'd still have all this space here for, for like a little living space, which I think would still give us enough room to put in like maybe a bar and a little seating area. And then we'll have like a big patio center out here, like a patio, I mean a pool area out here. So... Okay, yeah, let me think about how we're gonna lay this out. Cause it would be kind of cool to, I don't know where we could use those doorways. Um, if they don't, well, I guess they do fit in between, but I don't think that really does anything for us. I just wanna see what that looks like. Well, it does frame it off nicely. Well, that could be a thing. I think we'd have to put them on either side though. Can we? Oh, we can. Oh, that looks kind of nice. Oh, I wish I could get rid of like some of these walls, but that's okay. That's okay. It would be kind of neat to have. Okay, so what do we have here? Sort of have this as the divider. how this works uh, doesn't really I'd have to figure out the ball situation first but we could have that sort of as a I don't know I don't know because we're gonna need to have some privacy back here so oh let me think about it guys I'll be back welcome back guys so I have made a couple of decisions I think I showed you the whole house right this is uh, the next day so I've forgotten what I've talked about but um, it turned out really cute. I think it, it looks like a very inviting little holiday house. And all I did was I used the new door frames and stuff to kind of frame off this little area just because we had them and why not. And then I kind of used the same color that I used upstairs there in this little area that I walled off. So I thought, well, we could just maybe hang something decorative there on all of these sides. I thought that kind of added something. I almost used those porcelain tiles that I had out. Um, but what I've decided to do in here, guys, I was so confused because I'm like, oh man, there's so many different directions you can go, but we only have so many, so much space. So we got to pick and choose. So I know some people have, have mentioned a whole bunch of different ideas. Um, 
but I think what I want to do, I do believe, is I think we're in this middle section. Maybe we'll have a little sauna. And then on one side, we'll have like kind of like a shower laundry area. And on the other side, maybe just a little change room is what I'm thinking right now. So that probably means I'm going to have to put a wall up and have these maybe all separate. I think. I think, I think. I mean, I just... Mm, you kind of have to have at least four things to have. I mean, we could make it smaller and then have a little bit of space to walk into all the sections, but we'll see. Anyway, it's going to be, you know, something like this anyway. So I think we're going to have a wall on either side. Um, let's go back to the single one and let's just do one, two, three, four. So for sure, something like this, um, at the very least. So we'll come in, we'll have a small little sauna area. Like I said, we could either close it all the way off, because these are all doors. We could go into all these separate areas. It just means you'd have to go in one, come in, like, you know, come in the other, leave this one, come into this one. So I'm not sure how, how that'll work out. But anyway, we'll, we'll think about that for a second. But that's kind of the general idea. I wanted to separate this area and kind of have an enclosed little spot underneath this thing and then have this open and i thought we could use a fireplace and in an, under here we'll just kind of do a little bar area maybe on this side or something yeah something like that and then we'll just have like a little a little a sitting area i was not sure where to put this fireplace i mean Really, the only place I could put it was here. Or we could kind of stick it in between, maybe. Have it kind of there. And then have the bar behind, maybe. But I was thinking the main kind of walking in areas might be like here and probably here. So I think we'll put the pool area right in here. Actually, we should just buy that right now. Uh, where in the world is the pools? Here they are. That was easy. Um, okay, so we'll probably do just a big rectangular one. Now we got to give some thought to what kind of flooring to put in. So what's this? This might be kind of nice, the spirally one. Uh, dark blue, dark gray, gray. I think, I feel like, hmm, could go orange. Oh, that's really busy though. Oh wow, that's big. Um, I mean, it does kind of match. Kind of does match. Maybe we should go with the orange. I was gonna go with blue, but we could always accent with blue. So if we have this out, so can we? It's gonna be really hard to line this up. Okay, so we want to be. I want it to be sort of lined up in between here. So if we go kind of straight out. And pop down. What does that look like? I'm curious if, because there is patio blocks that kind of match that, so could we just add on to it? Let's find out. I got some digging to do. Look at that. One little scoop of the hand. Oh, we got to fill this sucker. That's right. It's been a while since I played with the pools and ponds and stuff. Look at that. It's so beautiful. But you know what? I was just thinking. I thought I got the rectangular one. Oh, I wanted the rectangular one. Okay, we're redoing this. Okay, this one is way bigger. Way, way bigger. But I think if we did something like that, it should be fine. Okay, we're back. Back caught up again. So is that sort of... Yeah, that's pretty centered. I'd say that's pretty good. Now... Hmm. You know, I really wanted to kind of switch these out, but then I got scared because there isn't something this size. And I tried to put a patio block underneath this and it wouldn't go. Now, I don't know if it would change if I remove these first, but I'm afraid to. So I think I'm just going to leave this as is. We can change the flooring in here because technically this is kind of indoor flooring. So we can use any of the indoor carpeting and all that kind of stuff. 
I thought I would put carpet, but you know what I mean. Probably put tile or stone or something under there. Now, okay, one thing I wanted to check is, so let's go into this and it would be surfaces, yes. And it would be paving slabs, yes. And can we, see these all have curbs. Well, I guess we can hide the curbs, right? It does have the same color, right? Not really. These are not the same color. Dang it. Hmm. Interesting. It lets me... Okay, so that looks like it's a continuation. Now, can we just make this less obvious? Is that the continuation? I think so. Looks about right. Now, had I put the pool in second, would that have allowed me to place it kind of on top of this? Um, okay, let's just check something here really quick. Oops. Okay. So the patterns are sort of lining up. I mean, maybe that's as close as it's going to get. I mean, I guess it doesn't look too terribly bad. Hmm. But I am very curious if this... That would be impossible to line up, though. Okay, I don't know. I don't know, guys. But now, okay, can I go underneath of this thing? So you can't. Um, so I gotta think about this. Would have been nice to kind of line it up so at least it came sort of up to there. But I think that's sort of the general idea. I think we'll do something like that. And I mean, I don't want to go into a different color because that would be kind of weird. It would kind of distinguish the two different areas, but no. No, I think I'd rather it be sort of a little bit off than completely contrasting. So I think, I think we're going to work with this. We'll probably have like a little area here for something like a little sitting area and another area on this side. So I'll play around with these paving stones. And like I said, in here, we will probably have like a little sauna and I want to play with the new showers that they have. The only problem is, okay, so we have these doors. I'm hitting the wrong button. Um, I mean, obviously, People are gonna see people changing, so we kind of have to put something up so that so that they have a little bit of privacy. But I'm not sure how to work that. But I do want to try these new showers that they have. Jean shower without tray. That might be kind of neat. You could tile it all in. That might be kind of cool. So I guess we gotta buy some installations first. I mean, how big are these showers? I have to check again here. Okay, so this is a rectangular one. Okay, so it doesn't quite come. I'm almost thinking like a corner one might be better just because then we could do, well, that's a big corner though. That is a really big corner. I was thinking we could still leave like a little gap here and have just like a little screen or something that sort of blocks the shower. Hmm. Oh, how big is this one? I don't know what color I would want yet, but uh, it's really hard to tell. Really hard to tell. Huh. Which is even the right... Okay, I'm going to have to play... Okay, so there's the door, so it would have to go kind of this way, I guess. Okay, okay, okay. So i got to work this out a little bit. All right, guys, if you knew how long it took me to place this stuff, oh my gosh, you'd be shaking your head. 
Um, it took me forever. First, I, well, I was trying to get this as close to this as I could because I don't know why. I thought maybe I could bridge the gap easier, but in the end, I just ended up placing the pool and then placing all these patio bricks around it like I kind of originally did. And then I have this just kind of walkway here joining up to that area because I thought maybe over here we could do the bar, but maybe we could eat, like be able to sit on either side of the bar. I thought that might be kind of neat. Um, so yeah, if people want to sit outside, they can. So we'll see how we can make that work. I was thinking about this. I think we're going to put the fireplace over there. And then this corner will be the bar area. And yeah, that's about as far as I got. So I wanted to look at flooring because I think we have to change the flooring in here. And I was looking at this because it's sort of, I mean, if you look at it, it sort of blends, right? Like it kind of, I think it should look okay. We'll see what it looks like anyway. So, I mean, we're kind of committed after we place this for, for the most part. How is this going to work? Hmm, maybe it's a little too much pattern. Let's see. Might as well just spend all of our money. Hmm. Um, I'm just looking at these. I feel like I should be spinning these to kind of offset them. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, that looks better. I got these to match up pretty good, though. Like, you know, the circle looks like it's just kind of interrupted by the seam. So it worked out really good. I've been, like, swimming. It's been so nice. I love it here. Then I thought we could just put some beach chairs out. Nothing too, too crazy. Um, I think. I think. We could have a fire table out here, though, too. Okay, anyway. Uh, okay, so back to this tile. Do we think that looks okay? Um, hmm. Maybe just the plane was better. I don't know. Because then we could just kind of put a nice outdoor carpet out here. All right, let's go back and look at the flooring. We can put this gray concrete back up. We could put white. Uh light gray herringbone bubbles hmm I don't think I really want to go into the grays I want to stay away from the gray so that's going to leave us with white I mean the industrial like concrete I think is okay to get away with it didn't come in different colors did it no shoot I'm kind of wishing I would have just left what was there now oh well let's just see what this looks like oh Oh, okay. Let me just do this all the way across. So this has big, oh, interesting. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. I do wish that we could have it more of a beige color, but I mean, it kind of, kind of looks better than I think what was here, so. I wish they did have more colors in that. I actually really like that. There's this white polish too. I wonder what that looks like. Let's just do a little snippet of it. No, I think, I, I think I'm just gonna stick with the gray. I, I don't mind it. I just wish it was, wish you could get it in a more beige tone. Cause then I would be really happy. But I think we're gonna carry it on right throughout this whole area there okay yeah i think that should be fine um okay so now we need some outdoor furniture and yeah lots of outdoor furniture we could expand this we could expand this and have like a little fire table area do i have to cut this down i may have to but ooh, i've just fell in the pool um it might be kind of nice. I mean, this is going to be all about outdoor living here. That's for sure. We're going to have sun chairs along here. And then, okay, yeah. So let me figure out what I'm going to do here. I want to play with the new kitchen stuff. Somebody had mentioned, and I can't remember who it is. I'm sorry, but 
they mentioned that there is peninsula cabinets so that means that we can have something that looks like you can have a bar stool underneath as you can see it overhangs it's lovely so that's what we're probably going to use I just want to see I guess they're all sort of okay so there's Kalina Kalina all the peninsula ones are the same brand it looks like Kalina okay and I'm thinking for out here no I think we're just gonna go maybe something like that now I have to figure out if we want right-handed or left-handed or you know that kind of thing so oh this is gonna be a little bit tight but if we can squish a couple in between then okay so it's not gonna be that cabinet but let me grab a different one okay I've been fiddling around with these kitchen cabinets and these are a little bit too kitcheny but I mean it's just I kind of went through a lot of them I really wanted this peninsula because I thought we could have some bar stools on the outside decided to forego the one on the inside uh, just because it would kind of overhang quite a bit I mean I could move all these over and there'd still be enough room to walk in I guess but we'll see I, I think I'm gonna leave it like that because I kind of wanted to have an outdoor sink too it just seems to kind of make sense to me and yeah like we'll probably put like a maybe a grill or something out there I don't know I, th I think this will work but let's work on I think maybe the furniture out here probably go to the uh, probably the garden DLC for that I think they'll have more choices like this we've never used before um hmm. hmm that's kind of a nice light color we could do something like that is there any more that go with it so sofa tinto let's just look up tinto and see what comes up armchair left corner oh well there's a whole bunch right corner oh you can make like a little poof tinto oh look at that okay Wish I, I could just like mm, kind of bring it all up at the same time. Okay, so we can sort of make our own. Do they come in the same colors? Brown coffee, white. I kind of like that look. It's nice and light. Yeah, let's let's work with that. I think, and we'll just have sort of a little. A little area in here I think would be good so right corner left corner armchair so we're gonna be wanting this in white brown coffee I mean I think that's what we want there's not really um, it's going into different colors no we'll stick with the brown coffee I think so can we put these right against each other nice 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 okay so if we put this on the side and then if we just grab some well we'll probably need a few more of these hang on a second here um I think I'm thinking two we'll try and make it this size but we'll join them all up I think I think I think maybe we should have three Okay, let's grab another one. We'll move them all around after. Oh, I like that you can piece these together. This is gonna be so nice. This actually might have been better for out there though. Uh, well, we could do the same. We could do the same and then it'll all kind of blend together nicely. Okay, so let's go back to the quarter ones. I don't really get because you can just spin these. I don't really get why you kind of need the different corners, but maybe it'll fit together better if we do it right. So why is that such a big gap? Okay, so that must be that corner. Hmm. Okay. But then it doesn't fit together nicely here. Hmm. 
Okay, that bugs me, that bugs me, bugs me a lot. Okay, something like that maybe, around a nice fireplace. I think it could work. We could always separate the two instead of having one big, well, let's, okay, let me play here. Okay, guys, I made a few changes. I ended up using that couch out here, and all we're going to do is we're going to add this fire table here that I saw. Um, I really wanted to go into more blues, but there just isn't a lot of choices, so I think we're going to just put this here. Is there enough room for legs? I think legs can fit. Let's just move this in a little bit more. Can we light this? Oh, darn, that would look so nice if you could light it. Yeah, I think this is a nice little area. Um, it's pretty centered in this little spot, so we'll just kind of probably decorate with some... Actually, that tree can stay. Yeah, I think that should be nice. And then we'll just have some scattered, like, little... Uh, what you we'll call it? Things. Um, sun chairs, yeah. And so here what I've done, I actually took out the dark blue. It was just, because this is all such a muted color, it was really standing out, but I did want some color. So I went with the lighter blue and I think that looks a little better. And I ended up taking out these cabinets because I thought we could have a barbecue there. It'll kind of, you know, bring this whole area together a little bit. So that's kind of the idea that I had for out here. I was going to do like an L shaped, but I don't know. We're just kind of, we don't have a ton of space, so... Yeah, I think we'll leave it at that. I mean, we could still do something here. I mean, we could put like maybe a, an eating table in here. But this is kind of what I've done. We had to use these chairs because they're called Jamaica. And I mean, how could we not use them for this little, for this little house? So just trying to make those a little more even. But I think this is a nice little comfy little you know, conversation area, I guess we could call it. And I used that table. The Jamaica tables did not really, I don't know, just weren't doing it for me. Um, I think this should be good. I think this should be good. These might have to get spread out a little bit, but you know, that's actually pretty good. Um, okay, so that's kind of this little area and that is this little area. So now what we gotta do is just put in some lawn chairs we got to figure out this little area here. Oh my goodness, this is taking me forever, this this little outside area. Um, gosh, that is looking really small for a sauna now. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I had to cut out. Oh, I was just trying to bounce these balls onto the pool. Kind of give it a little bit of life. I was going to put this doll, but that might be a little bit sinister. I don't even know if she bounces. Oh, go. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! I think we sent her to the ocean. Oh my goodness, that's funny. Okay, well, I guess that's it for for the balls. Um, we'll leave we'll leave one of these in the pool. I just think it looks kind of cute. Maybe we'll leave two. We don't really have a lot of kid elements here, but guys, I had to cut out a ton of this video because this was taking me so long. It, I have been working on this backyard for a really long time. It was just very tedious, all the paving work, the pool stuff, um, figuring out what I wanted to do. So I have gone ahead and I've sort of, you know, decorated a little bit. There might be a few more things we could use, but you know, we just got some, whoa, I keep falling in the pool. We got some um, some books and some wine glasses and whiskey glasses and some flowers. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do a lot for gardening stuff. It's just it's not my favorite thing to do, honestly. But um, I think uh, we've done enough enough with this house too. Like we've got some palm leaves. We might put a few more grasses in, but this is what we've done. Uh, I think I told you I changed to the light blue and I ended up putting some bar stools in. And I've decorated kind of the, the little outdoor kitchen area with just a bunch of glasses. And of course, we've got all the bar stools and we've got the barbecue, got some 
barbecue utensils hanging here, ready to go. Um, I think, did I show you all of these things I used as a border? And then I put up this little, one of those little mirrors and we just kind of decorated a little bit. It could just use a few more flowers here and there. So in here, guys, I did a lot of work. I wanted to show you it, but it was just taking me so long. So what I ended up doing was putting, I moved at first, I had put the sauna in the middle, but it just was kind of breaking up the space stupidly. So I moved the sauna over here. Uh, it turned out really cute. Uh, we used the porcelain tile in here and just decorated with some towels and stuff. It works out really good. It fits in here just perfectly. I think it's a cute little sauna. We got some lights. Still got to put some lights in here too. Use some of the new pictures. Um, this is like kind of a waste of space in here, sort of, but I kind of like it too because like, you know, when the doors are closed, you can just like kind of see the, well, I guess that is closed. Um, you can just see the the blue and I, I just I kind of like it even though there's not really any use for that space but we can put you know actually we should use some of the new uh, bookshelves that they have uh, where was those furniture probably okay these ones um put some white middle no let's go white or could put the orange that would be kind of a nice little yeah let's do that yeah we could put some shelving we could put the tall one over here too actually to match it uh, is that the one I think so I think that matches right yeah we could put that here we can put some decorations and stuff um, uh, it would be nice to kind of put a little uh, like a little shoe rack. You know, when you're going to the sauna, you could take off your shoes. Uh, we could, could make it a bench seat, but... Um, no, it's not going to fit anyway. So that little, from the old thing, furniture, cupboards, I think it was. Just be nice to have a little shoe thing. Just to take off your flip-flops or whatever. Here it is. Gosh, it took me forever to find it. But we could just put a little one right here for little shoes. Yeah, you can put your little flip-flops in there, head into the sauna. Maybe we'll put some towels on there if we can. Uh, yeah, so this is what I ended up doing. So we have the sauna there. This is just kind of a combination area. We I use the same tile inside one of the new showers, which is so cool because it just give, comes with a door and then you can do whatever you want with it. So I wish there was a little lip here. That would make more sense. But so this is our brand new shower. You can come in right from the ocean or the pool and shower off. So we have like a, just a little sink. This thing is so big, but I wanted to try and use it barely fits in that space but it was just so beachy that I thought I'll try and it's it's kind of hideous I don't know oh it's fine it's fine um oh but then we could put like you know what I don't think I can do it we use this this mirror out there let's go back to the mirrors here there we go okay that way we can put that mirror is just, it was just too big, I think, for that spot. So we are going to put in now where in the world. I, I just, I'm finding there's just so much stuff now that I'm forgetting where everything is between the accessories and the uh, decorations. And, does that match? Yeah, it does. Okay, so we can put kind of a towel here now, a little hand towel, kind of add some color. And I, we just could use the, maybe a carpet in here, which we will do. So, uh, yeah, we just need a few more decorations, and I ended up putting the vise and the stupid wrench in here because I insisted on keeping them. Might try to drop it on the dryer in a bit. So, um, you know what? Let's do that right now. We'll do it, and then it'll be done, and then I'll be happy because, I don't know if it's anything like uh, my place. It seems like either the washer or dryer is always like, there's always something wrong with it. Okay, that did not work out at all. 
We'll try dropping it on this one because it's flatter. There we go. Got some tools on there ready to go to fix it when it breaks because it won't be long till it breaks. Um, so yeah, this will be the little changing room. Um, I just thought somewhere to hang your bathing suit. We'll put like a little uh, laundry basket or something in here and and then you can wash your clothes and that kind of thing. And this has no door, but I figure there is a door here that you can close off to change or whatever. It's not exactly what I had in, like started out thinking I was going to do, but it's just with the space, I was really struggling with how to fit it all in. So um, I think it'll be fine. We'll, we'll, I think it'll be fine. So on these shelves, we will just put in like probably some books and stuff. It's kind of a nice dry area to put things like that for people who want to sit by the pool and read and stuff like that um, we still I put in a table here I think we talked about that we still got to find some chairs but it, I think it's coming together we use this fancy little light uh, which reminds me I need to put in a light switch I think so this is kind of an entry in uh, let's actually put one right here I want to see what that light looks like we should actually see what this looks like at night too. Okay, yeah, that turns on the light nicely. Um, so that's kind of what I've done so far. Like I said, I had to cut out a lot of it because this is this video is just ending up being way too long. So what I'll end up doing, I just wanted to kind of show you what I had done so far, and I'm gonna go in, even though I've put in a lot of the little finishing details, like especially in the kitchen and stuff, I think um, I'll finish putting the chairs in, I'll put a few more things up, like some books on the table, finish off this room, try to find a few pieces of art probably to kind of brighten things up, and, uh, and then I'll show you what it all looks like. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay guys, I think I'm done playing for today. We're not gonna sell this house. Um, it's pretty much done. I would have liked to have put a few more flowers out and maybe some lights, and I thought maybe we can have a look at that next time. Um, this video has just run way too long already. It has taken a, a crazy amount of time to do this. So I think it's turned out really good so far. We've definitely got some little details um, started. I probably won't add a whole lot more. But we've got, I think this is just such a nice outdoor area. Man, oh man, I want to go on a holiday now. Got a nice little sign here that says Beach Life. I thought that was good. I ended up taking those pictures down over there because they looked just a little bit too plain. And I went back to some of the Jamaica kind of pictures that I had gotten. So we added a few more plants here and there. Uh, some decorative stuff. Uh, oh, we still have to add lights actually. So that's something I'll do before we sell it. Um, but we've got a cute little dining area. I found some chairs that kind of match the wood and then I switched out these to kind of match like just with the white and the coffee instead of the blue. Um, so those I think look really cute. Uh, out here we didn't do much. I just wanted to leave this because it's kind of like where they drive in and it just seems silly to put anything out here. Most of the living space is going to be that way and beyond. Put up a couple of garbage cans you know it's driving me crazy because i could have swore i saw that they added a big metal garbage can i don't know where i got the idea from but i can't find it anywhere if there is one please let me know where it is because i looked and looked and looked i wanted to use it um out here i just ended up putting dream catchers up just because i don't have a lot more art left and i don't want to go and try to find any more so i just kind of just to sort of break it up a little bit i just put some dream catchers up and like I said, just lots of plants. We pretty much have two distinct areas to walk in and that is through here and through here. So we have a nice little free path going through the whole thing. Uh, of course, we have some fruit up and I, you know, honestly, I don't think there's that much more that we can add. I really liked this carpet in here. I thought it worked really well with the kitchen color and stuff. Then we just got a pitcher for some water and then in here I just put a few things on the shelf to make it look not so bare. These are some of the pictures that I use. I can't remember if I used those upstairs but oh well. I moved the mirror over here because I ended up using a different one over there. And we got some again some more shelves. We got a little thing for our shoes and 
you know, extra towels for our little sauna room, which turned out okay. It's cute. I like it. And then we got this little area that I just kind of finished off with some towels. I put some art in here. Um, I mean, they're, again, they're, it could maybe use a couple more things, but for now, I think this is it for today. We've done really good. We've added a lot. So, uh, yeah, I think the tile flows nicely using the same tile in there. Worked out good. I ended up putting a screen door on here. I thought that kind of maybe would work as a little divider. I tried to drop some towels on, but I just got lazy and I didn't want to get like a table and do it properly. So anyway, just ignore those. Um, and then I just put, yeah, another picture up and we got some shelves, a uh, little hair dryer, laundry facility, some tools in case they go, of course, broken, in case they break. And yeah, just some towels. And I think, I think that's good enough for today, guys, honestly. I really like this area. This little spot here, I wasn't too sure if it was going to be sort of a waste of space, but... You know, it keeps the books dry. There's a whole bunch of books out by the pool, so they can keep them in here. And I think it's turned out really, really cute. I'm happy with it. I hope you guys like the way it's turned out. Like I said, I just want to add a f just a few more maybe plants outdoors. And, uh, of course, we got to add maybe just some lights. I forgot the lights in the bathroom and things like that. Um, but... Yeah, I, I think it's turned out really good. I think this is a really cool outdoor space. And next time, like I said, I'll put some lights out here and we'll have a look at it at night and then we will sell this place. So for today, guys, that is it. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much, always as always, for your support on the series. I'm always amazed by how just wonderful everybody is and just I get so many great ideas from you all. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And we will see you in the next one. I think next time what we're gonna do is, because there's a couple people that kinda wanna see the jobs, and I don't mind doing them. I just was afraid they might be kinda boring, and those of you that think they're boring too can just skip over them. But I think what we're gonna do is we will do um, a job before every episode. I, I really wanna see some of the houses, so I think I'm gonna start unlocking them. Um, but we'll just kind of work it on one house at a time. So I think the next time we started, because we had bought in two houses, or no, we started the second job. So we'll finish off that job and maybe do another one uh, next time to have a look at, you know, at least one of the houses. Um, and yeah, and then we'll get, we'll sell this one and get going on the next one. I'm excited, excited to see what's, what's next. Um, but anyway, for this one, yeah, like I said, we'll sell it next time. I know a lot of you want me to keep it as an office. I don't want to, like, I, I don't want to commit to the first house because there's going to be so many houses and I kind of like my house. So <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I do love this one, but, um, as it stands right now, we'll probably sell it next time. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys all next time. Bye for now.